All right, so I don't normally do this, uh, but I just thought it'd be fun. I was on eBay uh, like a week or so ago, and I found this uh, this really cool lot of Star Wars stuff. Like uh, not vintage, but I mean, it's kind of getting to be vintage almost at this point. It's like my childhood stuff. Um, I started kind of cracking open the box, and I was like, you know what? It'd be kind of fun to do like a little unboxing video. Nobody's gonna watch it, but you know, it'd be neat. So I just put a little bit of, a couple of bits of scotch tape. I haven't actually opened it. I know what's in it. I haven't seen uh, what it looks like yet, but it looks like it got a little, a little damaged. Yeah, that's my knee. Looks like it got a little damaged in shipping, but, you know, hopefully it's all okay. So I'll re-break the seal. I obviously blacked out the uh, shipping label so I don't dox myself. Not that I really care. I'm not super important. So. Ah, oh, I'm excited. Ooh, look at that. It came with a video game. One of my favorites, Bounty Hunter. I, I prefer the GameCube version. The PS4 version is actually pretty good, but still. It is complete. Said the disc was in good shape. Said he tested it. Yeah. Yeah, there's some smudges, but... Very cool. So, it's like a mix of... Uh, I think episode one... Carded. There's some uncarded and loose. There's some random stuff. This is a bag of accessories. It looks like this is one of the one of one of the things that sold me on. It's like on top of the card of figures, there's a bunch of loose, which I, which is all those. It's kind of what sold me on it because I mean it's hard to find these loose with like all the accessories and in good shape. Normally it's one or the other. Or they're all beat up. But yeah, so uh, I guess we'll start with the side. Yeah, this I'm kind of eh on. I mean, it's Disney, Star Wars, Force Awakens, X-Wing. It's not really the classic. I guess military technology doesn't evolve at all in the Star Wars universe over 30 years, except after the prequels, but, you know, whatever. It's still neat. It's hefty. You know, I think it's mostly die cast. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels makes all right stuff. Uh... These things that everyone's seen at Target and Walmart that nobody freaking bought. I mean, the Chrysler Airflow is pretty neat, but, uh, you know, just whatever. It came with it. Who cares? There's a, another one. The Rolling Thunder. Again, eh, who really cares? Yeah, Disney, Star Wars. Blech. Um, I'm gonna move this to the floor so I have more room. So, I know people are probably gonna turn up their noses and be like, "Oh my God, prequel stuff." Oh, but you know, it's it's my childhood. You guys, you guys had all your vintage stuff, and and you have all your videos. You know, I, I was like nine when this movie came out. This was this was my Star Wars event, the prequels. This was this was my this is what I grew up on. Yeah, yeah, Queen Amidala. It's a little little smashed up. I think some of these I'm probably just gonna take out of the box. You know, save the card back and just display them loose. So this one's cool. You cannot tell me this is not a cool figure. Everybody likes Darth Maul. I don't know anybody that hates Darth Maul. It's it's a little it's a little beat up. I mean sometimes like I, I have a bunch of these. I already have a Darth Maul. Uh, I got a bunch of episode one stuff. It's all in a lot better condition. I mean yeah, I might I might end up reselling or or whatever. So. Oh, here we go. Everyone's favorite Asian stereotype, Nuke Gun Ray. They kill her or, or something. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. 
Star Wars, everyone gets an action figure. So this one's pretty cool. All, any, any of the Jedis were cool. Even Yaddle. Come on. Everyone remembers Yaddle, right? It's a little... A little crunched, but... Again. Cheap. There she is. Get them the camera. Monkey face Leia. I don't know who approved that mold. <laughs> her face, her face looks awful. And the big broad shoulders. I, I never thought, I never thought this figure was that bad. But you know, there's people that that hate, just loathe the Power of the Force two line. Again, I was, I mean, when was this? Ninety five. So I, I was, I was about five years old when all these were coming out. So this, it was like the height of like Star Wars. Uh, coming back and everything, and I, I was all wrapped up in it. I, I still get nostalgic for that stuff. Odie Mandrell. Good old Odie. The pod racer. I, I, I don't think I ever had this one. I always wanted the little droids. I always wanted, like, the little pit droids. I always thought they were super cool. I had the Gas Gano. That's the one that I had. And then I think I had, like, a Another figure that came with one, or it was like a two-pack of pit droids. I remember I had them when I was a kid, and then I you know, tore them all apart. This one's cool. TIE Fighter Pilot. And this is in really good shape. It's a little little bent up, but... Yeah, TIE Fighter Pilot. Now I just need a TIE Fighter to put them in. Qui-Gon Jinn. Again, like another another character from the prequels, and most people are like, well, I don't like the prequels. Even Qui Gon was pretty cool. Obi Wan, whatever, whatever. Like kind of a kind of a funny story about these toys. I, I don't know why. Um, one of my one of my friends when I when I used to go to church when I was very very young, he had a Qui Gon. Like he got it early somehow, and I just remember when I was a kid, I, I would always focus on like the strangest parts of an action figure. And like obsess over, and I think they were super cool. Qui Gon, he was the first episode one figure that I ever got to like see in person, held in my hands. I remember his boots. Can't really see even this. His boots, though. I was like really impressed by his boots for some reason. There you go, KB Toys, dollar ninety nine. Yeah, look at that. Everyone, everyone complained that Star Wars toys are too expensive. They were seven ninety nine back in the day too. It's actually more expensive with inflation. Yeah, for whatever reason, I was, I was obsessed with the boots. I don't know why. There we go. There's an Obi-Wan to go with them. There's like a little schmutz or something on the, on the case there. I don't know what that's about. Looks like he might be starting to yellow a little bit. Uh, whatever the fucking plastic they were using. Maybe it was sitting out in the sun or direct sunlight or something. I don't know. It looks a little... A little off, but I can't remember what it was supposed to originally look like. Might might just be the actual color. And there's the Obi Wan to go with it. It was another thing about these figures was the the lightsaber hilt that clipped into the belt. Uh, just another another thing I used to obsess about when I was a kid. And I, I lost every single one of these, of course. Every single one of those lightsabers was gone, like probably within a month or so. Like that that's one thing. Like I see some of the other videos on YouTube. There's KB toys. See how there's other videos on YouTube where people have like their their Star Wars toys from the '70s and the '80s, and they took care of them, and they they look good, and they have all the fucking uh, all the uh, the parts and bits and and everything. It's like I, I I don't know. Like, did they even play with them, or did they? I, I don't know. I, I played with my toys. I, I played with the hell out of my toys. I should send this in. See if they'll. Uh, Admit me into the uh, the contest. I remember really, really, really wanting. I, I remember sending these in when I was a kid for the the Jedi party, and they had the 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 Weird Al Radio Disney. I don't know if anyone remembers that Radio Disney. You get the party with Weird Al and go see the movie. There's another one, Admiral Piet. These these weird little. I never understood these when I was a kid because I never had a slide projector, and I didn't know anybody besides like at the teacher at school. That had a slide projector. Like, I don't know what or who those were for. Like, you know, they were cool. Like, you pull them out of the box and, you, you know, you, you hold them up to the light. And you, you look through them once. And then you're like, oh, cool. And then you immediately lose them. Immediately lose them. Gone forever. 
So this is, I think, one of two Hoth Han Solos that came in this lot. This one is the good one. It's, yeah, it's a little wavy, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. This was another one of my favorite figures. It was this Han Solo and the, the Endor Han with the trench coat. Always thought that was neat. Pilot Luke. Very cool. I don't know if I ever actually owned this one as a kid. I might have. Not 100% sure, though. I had a lot. Oh, here he is. This is the the damaged one, as you can see. It looks like it tore a little bit at some point. Like maybe it got bent. There's some... If it would focus. Yeah, there's some, like, tape. So this this one, I'll either open up and... and uh, display, you know, open or loose or whatever you want to call it, or maybe just resell it. This, always wanted one of these as a kid. Not super rare, I just thought it was cool. And these go for like 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks, complete in box. Really nice shape box though. Like really nice shape, never never been opened. Always thought these are cool, the speeder bikes, the swoop bikes. I mean, Shadows of the Empire, I was obsessed with with that game. Like just, I never had an N64, but all my friends did. Well, these are all the loose figures. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I'm on the table, pick these up and we'll take a look at them in a second. All right, so got everything up on the table here. I was actually re-watching the previous uh, chunk of video. I did notice that right in, the, right in the corner, I had a little bit of a uh, little bit of finger action going on there. Which is just uh, fantastic. You can tell I don't I don't do this. I'm doing this on my cell phone. You know, like I said, not something I normally do. Just thought it'd be fun. You know, I'm... whatever, whatever. Uh, get over it. Nobody's gonna watch this anyways. So this was the uh, the second bit. I mean, it was actually the first thing that caught my eye when I seen the lot. Um, so I think the the first picture was all of these figures. Uh, and then the next one was like the, the box stuff. And there's my messy entertainment center. And I seen like the video games and all that. Um, I actually didn't even notice that these stupid things were in there, but whatever. I mean, for the price I paid, I, I'm, I'm one of those assholes. I sniped it. I sniped it. <laughs> like at the last minute, I think, I think it was ending at like two in the morning, which is like my favorite time to go looking for eBay auctions. So I think at like two in the morning, I ended up snagging all of this. I think it was came to like forty five dollars or forty something dollars in free shipping. Um, dude didn't seem too happy about it. I, I probably wouldn't be either. That's why I don't like when I resell. I don't sell lots anymore because you normally can get a lot more back. <laughs> a lot. You can normally get more back uh, selling individually or uh, you know piecing it out. Lot sales. Lot sales are always enough like losing money, especially with shipping. So these, these are the loose figures. This is what really caught my eye. Um, some of these I'm definitely going to keep. Uh, a couple of these I'm definitely going to keep. The rest I'm probably going to end up reselling because I, I do have, I'm pretty sure I have all of these except for the Darth Vader, this specific Darth Vader. I think this is the only one I don't have sealed. Um, but yeah, I just thought these were cool. These two especially, are staying with me. These were two of my favorite, favorite, favorite action figures as a kid. Um, I know everyone's like, C-3PO and R2-D2, why? It's like, because he's freaking shiny, dude. Look how shiny this guy is. And this this one especially, one of the reasons I want to keep, for whatever reason, this, this C-3PO, unless you can get lucky and like you find it in a lot and someone's just trying to get rid of it, it's actually like really up there in price. Like I've I've seen upwards of like 25, 30 bucks for this one almost. Like complete in the box, the original red lightsaber uh background card, not the green one. Like the original 95 first wave, which I think Yeah, this one was 95. And the other thing that impressed me too is like normally when you find these loose, they are just beat to shit. All the, like they're all they're all you know scuffed up the the heads and like all the all the joints are loose like this this one's got a slightly loose leg I don't know yeah I mean it's, it's it's slightly loose but I mean it's it's basically brand new the uh, the waist is is 
It's got a, got a little bit of give to it. Um, of course, it's not doing it now, but I, I can feel it. Like you can feel it if you picked it up. It's it's there's a little bit of loose looseness to it, but compared to some of the other ones that I've seen, like at flea markets and whatnot, that I picked up, held in my hands, like this is this is really nice. There's a there's like a tiny little scuff right there, but other than that, really really nice shape. Like mine, one of one of my favorite scenes in Star Wars was the Empire Strikes Back, where C three PO gets blown up, and this was long before they had re-released a C-3PO figure that you could take apart. So me being six years old, thought it'd be really cool to uh, pull all the arms and legs off. The legs actually do just pop off and you can pop them back in. The arms do not. Head also does not. So once it was apart, that, that was it. And I cried and cried and I begged my mom to buy me a new one and... You know, my mom and my dad, they did not buy me a new one. They said, you broke the one that you had, live with it. So I think that one ended up with uh, tons of glue all over it for a while. And then I know it got buried in the backyard for a couple of years. And then I, I never actually ended up seeing it again. All right, so yeah, I had to pause for a second because I actually got another package in the mail. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is um, from Amazon probably open that in a second because it is actually uh if it is what i think it is it is, it, is it, ah, it is actually related to everything else here but yeah like i was saying the the c-3po really really nice shape one of my favorite toys as a kid and this was one of my other favorites the power of the force 2 r2d2 uh this is this is one of the ones like when people bitch about the power of the force 2 is like i don't understand because these especially like i mean yeah c-3po is, is a little i feel like he looks more like he did in the movies with this figure, though, like you know, a little, little bit broad in the chest, but it's kind of what he looked like. And the same with the R two D two. I mean, it's it's good focus. It's kind of hard to mess up an R two. And this this one I always thought was really cool because you would take the uh, there's like the little dome on the top. You shine a light through it, and you know his, his eyes would light up. I don't have a flashlight on me or anything, you know, or else I would demonstrate it. I'm sure anyone watching this probably already knows that. Well, actually, I got the window. Ugh. Yeah, so you hold up the light, and it's supposed to look like his little light is turning on. Pretty neat. Um, yeah, this this is another one that's always super, super hard to find in good shape, which is another reason I think these might have been displays and not, like, actually played with, because, I mean, he's still really white. There's barely any yellowing, a little bit on the feet, like a tiny little bit on the feet. My camera doesn't like to focus, but tiny little bit the the foot the uh, the retractable foot still really sturdy let's see if it clicks yeah still clicks in place really sturdy it's not loose the legs are nice and tight I think I, I actually have another one uh, oh, it's actually right here this is from another Star Wars order that I had like see I mean this one this one's never been opened never been played with and look how look how freaking yellow it is. Like, it's insane, especially compared to this one that's I'm assuming has been opened for a long time. And this is from 95. This is from... When did these Episode 3 figures come out? 2005. So 10 years later. This, this, this figure is 10 years older. Been open for who knows how long. And then this one is all dingy and dirty. It looks awful. I mean, it still... It still works. Which is cool. A lot of the times those little batteries don't uh don't stay working for very long. But yeah, I mean it's it's just crazy. And this this is another one, especially with the chrome top. They're always all like smashed up. They always look like crap, dings and dents. And but this one is perfect. Just like absolutely perfect. It looks like it was like you said, never ever handled or anything. But yeah, like some of these I'm probably gonna resell because I do have. Mostly all of these already, except for the Darth Vader. I might keep the Darth Vader too, but these two, these are definitely getting kept. These will go on my desk with, with the rest of my, uh, like, statues and everything, little figures and whatnot. So this one, I thought this was one, I thought I knew the, which one this was. I thought it was uh, one that I had as a kid. It was a Han Solo where the helmet came off. But this is just an actual, just regular Stormtrooper, not Power of the Force 2. Because nothing, nothing bends. This is definitely not Power of the Force 2. Because the Power of the Force 2 Stormtrooper was basically this. 
I mean, obviously, if it would focus. No? No? Really? But anyways, yeah, you can tell. It's a little bit taller, a little bit lankier. Chest is smaller, obviously. It's actually really, really nice, though. I really like the, the design, the sculpt. Really, really nice. Again, not yellowed. Looks really, really nice. The limbs are, are, are tight. There's no, like, uh, it doesn't, doesn't wiggle around or anything when you shake it. Really nice. Um, yeah, just a regular Stormtrooper, though. Helmet does not come off. It's on a little little ball joint. So this, this is, yeah, it's only like a little five-pointer. You know, the, the elbows don't bend, the knees don't bend, which I thought it might, but like at first glance, definitely doesn't. Still pretty cool, though. Not, not a bad little figure. Um, so then, yeah, this is one of my other favorites. Uh, I remember my dad had uh, sent in, I think it was like a Kellogg's thing in the 90s where you could get the, the Han Solo. It was like an individual little package, like a little white box. It didn't come with its own card or anything, but it was the Han Solo and Stormtrooper disguise with the removable helmet. And that, that, again, another one of my favorite figures. That That thing... I, I, the last time I seen it was like 15 years ago, but the, it was it was yellow, it was scuffed, like it it, it had been played with in love. Definitely not as nice or in a, as good a shape as uh, as this one. Oh, there's there's some focus. Yeah, all the paint's still good. No no scuffs around the feet or anything like that. Really really nice shape. Um, here we go. So got an extra pilot Luke. This this one will probably get put up for sale. I do a lot of like eBay selling, Mercari. I do garage sales. I have like I try and have like a flea market stall and all that stuff every year. This one's pretty neat. Again, I'm not 100 percent sure if I had this one as a kid. I think I get him mixed up with the uh, the A wing pilot. I had an A wing with the A wing pilot, the Power of the Force two. Um, so this one. Oh my god. If it would focus, this, and I do have the accessories. I'll, I'll, I'll go through those in a minute. This was, oh my god, one of my favorite, favorite figures. This was so cool. And again, this is, uh, I mean, the antenna is slightly bent. That might have just been from the packaging. It is in mint condition. It looks fantastic. No no scuffs, no dings, no dents. You know, all the battle damage is the actual battle damage and not scratched figure. Like, these are in such good shape. It is so hard to find loose Power of the Force 2 stuff. That's not all beat to shit. There's the new Hope Han. And you know, like like I was saying, I, I can understand why like some of the old purists and, and the, the guys that, you know, were probably about close to my age now when these were coming out that grew up with the the eighties figures. Can I find that sweet spot? No. Oh, this camera sucks. I, I can kind of understand like that they you know they wouldn't like the sculpts they they were a little bulky a little beefy a little 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 too wide in the chest I never had a problem with it I always thought they were really cool like the the face sculpts were were never really that bad I mean they 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 looked more like the actors than the uh, the old vintage ones because I I actually do have this was part of a another lot that I had. I actually do have a uh, retro collection Han Solo. It's like, yeah, it looks it looks a little like Harrison Ford, but I mean, compared to like the other ones, these these were pretty good. These were pretty close. You know, the hair and then the face and and everything. Like they they really weren't that bad. This this was another thing I used to obsess over. Another weird little thing. It's just the red stripe on the pants. Just very vividly remember thinking that was one of the coolest details. On an action figure. I don't know. I, I, I was a strange kid. Maybe, maybe a touch of the tism. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I do have these out right now. I, I had just got done removing those big, ugly retro collection stickers. Like These are really cool. There's another thing I, I kind of want to try and get all of. I think I'll just show them off while I have them here. I have... Uh, oh, yeah. It was a Japanese import or China import or something. I'm going to resell that. Um, that actually just came in. That took like three months to get here. But yeah, I got all these. Got the stickers off. This, I know they're not they're not uh, perfect. I think they they recast the molds from figures. They obviously didn't have the original ones left after all those years. But 
Um, I think they're pretty neat. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get all of them. I have a, a Yoda and a Boba Fett coming in separately, so I'll have the the whole Empire line, and then I want to get the whole the six figure New Hope line. But anyways, got the Jedi Luke. This was one I never had when I was a kid. Um, but I do have a. Uh, oh, this one's a little. I don't know if that's dirt, some smudges or something. This one's a little dirty. Th yeah, this is one never had as a kid. Always wanted. I actually I do have a uh, mint on card in my personal display of this, so I don't really need this one. Still really cool. Like uh, that was one thing I, I liked about the the '90s ones. Like they had like removable capes and helmets, and the figure itself is not bad. I think this is. I think this is when they might have started slimming them down a little bit in the chest area. It's still, still a little beefy, but doesn't look as bad as like the, what is it, the farm boy Luke? I mean, you can even see, oh, there's a Dagobah Luke, you can see that one. It was still pretty wide, but I think they, that this is when they started slimming them down a little bit, and then they were uh, starting to re-release them and do different waves and everything. Still pretty neat. Another one of my favorites. I did have this one as a kid. Much better Leia face sculpt. Not still not great. Can't really see it because my camera sucks dick. It is, it's a little better. Um, I also don't have any professional lighting in here, so it's a little dim. But I, I always thought this one was really cool because that was another thing I was obsessed over when I was a kid. If if a Star Wars figure had removable helmet, sold. Didn't even care who it was. I needed to have it. So yeah, this this is another one I never had as a kid, but I always wanted because again, removable helmet. This is the Shadows of the Empire Luke in the disguise. I can't remember what disguise. It's another one I have complete in my display, so don't really need that one. This one's really cool. I think this is was I can't remember the first ones that I got. I got them for Christmas. This was the first one that I opened in probably '95. It was the first wave. It was either birthday or Christmas. Take the little cape off. I think this Darth Vader looks pretty good. Like, he's he's a little stocky, but I think he looks intimidating. Like, he looks scary. Like, this is a scary, scary figure. Um, but, it, yeah, it was the Darth Vader, and then I'm pretty sure it was the R2 and C-3PO were the first three that I got. Because um, most everything else sold out. I got the New Hope Han a little bit later. I got the Farm Boy Luke and all that. But, yeah, I, I haven't actually held one of these action figures and this is this is really really tight i don't think this has like ever really been moved or anything all right so gotta pause for a second so anyways yeah phone was starting to bitch at me saying video video size whatever oh yeah this this was another one that i got one of the first ones i got too the chewbacca so we got all these and then like i was saying earlier this is the other thing that kind of sold me on it was they all have as far as i can tell they all have all of the accessories like these are these are all they're not mint on card but they are complete and speaking of cards they they did come with like somebody actually took the time to cut all these out which i never did as a kid because like they all had them on the back the little bios little picture i i don't know like i guess you were supposed to keep them you know cut them out all that i never saw any point in it like once the box was torn open like box meant nothing to me but yeah they have all the cards all the, all these figures have them actually i wonder if i can find that luke skywalker one is that in here there it is is imperial guard disguise that's what it was yeah got the original card back there shadows of the empire line that that was such a cool time to to be a star wars fan as a kid the shadows of the empire event was just so much fun video games and the comics and the toys I had so many of the little toys but yeah so here we got all the little accessories so actually what I'm gonna do real quick I'm just gonna pause and then I'll be right back I'll put all these together all right so yeah that, that took a couple more minutes than I thought it would I actually grabbed a, a little like so it's starting to get a tiny bit dim but yeah as you can see these are all pretty much complete, um, except for this guy. He didn't have like a gun that actually fit. At first, I thought it might have been this, but this is actually to the uh, 
And actually, hang on one second. Okay, so yeah. So like I had thought, I, I thought maybe this was a part to it or like a little pistol or something. But I was looking at it and I was like, this looks really, really familiar. And I can't quite place it, but I know I've seen it before. Um, but then, yeah, this is from like my personal... This is this is a toy I've actually had since I was a kid. One of the few that I actually have left. It's actually the uh, harpoon gun from one of the... Um, uh, what are these called? The action fleet. The micro machine action fleets. I mean, these these things were so goddamn cool. I don't have any of the figures anymore, but... but yeah, it's actually a, a harpoon gun from the old uh, snow speeder. Which is... I don't know how that ended up in here, but... I mean, uh, I guess now I have an extra one. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't actually come with a gun. He has this weird little chest plate. I don't know which line or what stormtrooper this is. Um, there's there's like little markings on it, but I couldn't make out like a date or anything. I have no idea what that one's from. But he had, he's got like a little weird little chest plate. Yeah, got a, got a weird little chest plate. I don't know what that's for. I know that um, some of the figures came with two guns. Like I think this is Chewbacca's. I think this is. On solos, and I think I think this one goes to the pilot Luke because I'm pretty sure he came with a lightsaber and a pistol. They all came with the little the little Han Solo blaster. A lot of them came with a Han Solo blaster. And I think this is to like a Gamorrean guard. This this doesn't go to any of the figures I have, as far as I know. I'm not really sure. I can give it to to Chewie or something, and you know, nice savage axe or something. But there was one thing that I noticed. Um, that I, I wasn't even wasn't even really thinking about until I was doing. It. I was putting together the uh, the pilot Luke, and uh, let me see if I can get this. So, one thing that I had noticed, I I hadn't even thought about, but I haven't done this. I haven't done this in like twenty years, because for the most part, when I buy these when I buy these figures, I buy them mint on card so I can display them. I haven't actually held loose Star Wars figures in my hands like these old ones for. I mean, for years and years and years and years and years. And when I was putting that vintage look together, I realized, and I want to do it again, just putting it in his hand, the lightsaber, I haven't put a lightsaber in the hand of a Star Wars character since, probably since I was a kid. And it was just a really, really neat feeling. I know I know, it sounds kind of cheesy and corny. It's just a really neat feeling to... To do that again after all these years. I mean, I'm I'm 31 now. Like the last time I, I put together and like had anything to do with these figures, like just in my hands, putting the accessories on, I was probably like 13, maybe 14. I was starting to grow out of the uh, you know, the action figures and stuff. I was giving them away, or I'd lost most of them. It's like this lightsaber too, like these old 90s ones. It was just it was like a bit of clear plastic that they would paint the hilt on. And this, this Darth Vader one, I mean, it, it, that was gone very, very soon after I got the figure. It was, it was all scratched up, and I think my little brother chewed on it or something like that. I mean, it might still be around. I don't know. I don't know where all my figures are. My dad's got them somewhere. I don't talk to him, so whatever. But I, I don't know. It was, just, it was just a neat feeling, like popping all the little guns into their hands and, and all the little accessories. You know, it's like something something I haven't done since I was a kid. And again, these these were these were really neat. Like any, like I was saying, anything that had like a removable helmet was just the coolest thing, just the coolest thing. But uh, but yeah. So that that is that is the lot. All right, I'm back again. My phone was screaming at me that I was running out of storage space because I'm lazy and I never clean out my SD card. Um, but yeah. Like I was saying, that that is the lot for the price I paid. I think that's a really good deal. And I, like I said, I did get this box from Amazon. Um, pretty sure I know what it is, and I figured while I was already making this video, I might as well uh, crack it open because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I know what it is. And it does relate to... Oh my god, I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's pain in the ass. So this is just a silly little something that I bought just because, oh my god, it's just tiny. It is so much smaller than it looks. Yeah. I got the, uh, the little Mandalorian, the little child. That is dinky. I mean, it was, it was 10 bucks on Amazon. I'm not, I'm not going to complain over $10. I knew it was going to be small, but holy shit. 
I mean, it is. I mean, what what can I even compare this to? Like, here's a regular stormtrooper. I mean, yeah, he's supposed to be tiny. He's a little baby. Like this, this, this one's kind of crazy because I've seen people trying to resell this for like twenty, twenty-five dollars and shit. It's like, dude, you can get this anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, ten, ten bucks, ten dollars for this. Why are you trying to sell it for twenty? You're insane. Like a lot of these black series are really expensive. Like I got a handful, but they are pricey. I try and get them brand new, but you know the scalpers, oh the scalpers. But yeah, so yeah, really tiny. I mean, even compared to like R2, that is that is shockingly small. Uh, I, I would have been pissed if I had paid like twenty bucks for this, but still pretty neat. I'll probably grab another one so I can uh, so I can open one. And when my uh, my six inch Mando comes in, I got two of those coming in, so I'll I'll have those side by side. But yeah, again, just thought I'd share. Thought it was really neat. Um, you know, anyone who's actually interested or has any sort of nostalgia for these figures, they're all really good shape. Um, yeah, some of these are probably going to go up for sale because I do have a lot of these already mint on card. And they're not, they're not like exactly hard to find loose. I do want to get some loose versions, but I mean, as it is, pretty nice. So yeah, um, I probably won't do another one of these anytime soon. It's not something I normally do. I just kind of did this for fun. Just to, you know, share with people who are interested. So, 